Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry. When I was a girl growing up, I did cleaning work. I did all kinds of cleaning work. But I cleaned houses in the morning and on weekends. And in the evenings, I cleaned banks. And I would catch the bus to and from work. And I started this job probably when I was about 12 and continued all the way through high school. And then sometimes in graduate school even. But I would meet these other women who were on the corner. I say other women. I was a girl. They were women. And they would be on the corner with me catching the bus to and from. And I would ask them all kinds of questions about how to clean, what to clean, what's the best way to use this. And they would tell me because they knew then what the world is finding out now, that cleaning work is essential work. And without good cleaning and sanitation, everybody gets sick. One woman would be off to the side, kind of quiet, and she was always kind of sizing me up. And then one day she pulled me aside and she said, little girl, always clean the light. I said, ma'am? She said, always take care of the lights. Ma'am? She said, every house you go in, in that first hallway, there's always a big chandelier. Nobody's cleaned it. Get yourself a ladder, climb up there, climb up to that light and take your solution with you. Put it in a little bowl and clean each crystal and clean the base and make sure you clean the bulb. Make sure you clean the light itself because nobody cleans the light. And if you take care of the light, everything shines. Well, I did what she said. The very first time I did it, the woman of the house came out and said, what did you do? It looks amazing in here. And the husband came in and he said, who is this girl and whoever she is, get her back and make sure you pay her extra. Always take care of the light. That has stayed with me. In my life, I don't do cleaning work anymore for a job, for a living. But I always take care of the light. There's a light inside of each of us that must be nurtured, that must be cared for, that needs to shine brightly. It hasn't been addressed. It hasn't been talked to. It hasn't been loved. Give it the music it wants. Give it the dance it needs. Give it the sunshine it so admires. Give it the stars at night. Your light, that thing about you that shines so brightly that others want to see, needs to be nurtured and loved and cared for. It's been forgotten. We're given this time to really take care of the light. Shine. And when you do, you give others permission to do the same. Don't hide your light somewhere under a bushel or in a corner. Shine your light and take care of it. Nurture it. Love it. The world needs you to shine.